If you have the uh, cold start rattle, uh, really, it, sometimes it can be, it sounds like the whole engine's about to come flying out of the truck. Um, the, and you want to just check your oil pressure. This is how I did it. As most of many of you know, I've got this 2010 F-150. It's got about 271,000 miles on it. And it had started developing this cold start rattle. It doesn't do it when it's... Uh, when it's relatively warm, it has to sit for 12 hours plus for that for the rattle to start. Um, so I've been trying to figure that out. My first, one of my first thoughts was the oil filter. So I, I thought maybe I had a bad oil filter with a anti drain back valve going bad, something like that. Um, so change the oil, change the filter, and that seemed to help for a few days, but then it came back. So. The, my next thought is I just really want to check and make sure I've got good oil pressure because otherwise the truck runs fine. So what I did today was install just real quick um, the same uh, same mechanical oil pressure gauge that I use on my Jeep. I've kind of semi-permanently installed it in the truck and I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. If you want to check the oil pressure in your in your vehicle, at least a F-150, this is a 5.4, the 12th gen 5.4 liter uh, three valve over uh, engine. Um, so the I'm gonna, let's jump in there and i'll show you uh i'll show you show you how i did it it's not 100 percent permanent but it'll do for a little while while i just make sure that my oil pressure is good so here we go so the easiest way to get to this particular access point on the oil galley uh, is through the passenger side wheel wheel uh, kind of underneath and behind the wheel you turn the wheel out it's a little easier to get to um this this is on the the back side of the uh, back side of the head on the passenger side um, so and there's a there's a quarter there's a little plug that you take out that has a quarter inch uh, uses a quarter inch allen wrench to get that out and then that's where you connect your um, that's where you connect your mechanical oil pump so kind of come in here and you can see where I installed this right there and uh, the kit that I had I had to use a couple of adapters to get it out um, and then I use that uh, let's see if I can get my hand up in here I can look at that uh, I also insulated the the line with that piece of rubber hose just because it uh, as it goes up it does get a little close to the head um, so I just wanted to, to to protect it okay and this isn't 100 percent permanent but it's it'll do for right now this is a little better view of that uh, of that connection point that oil galley right there um, so you can see there's a couple of freeze plugs it's pretty easy to find once you once you get under there and look it's not super easy to get to. Um, the only way that I could get to it is coming around this way. Uh, let me zoom back out. So the only way I could get to it was by kind of laying underneath and then going outside the frame up over the exhaust and then you can reach it here. Um, And then I just Arkansas engineered the gauge inside the inside the engine compartment. Um, I didn't take the time to run a hole through the firewall and mount it inside. This is only going to stay for I don't know a little while, uh, a few days, a couple weeks, whatever. Um, and then I'll I'll probably end up taking it back out once I fully diagnose and fix this problem. Um, I, I, at right now I do have. Um, I do have good oil pressure. That's what I've been able to determine. And this oil galley connection point, by the way, is from what I understand is basically at the tail end of the oil passageway from the oil filter, which is way down there. Um, and then obviously the oil pump is down low. So this is, this is up high. Um, and so I'm getting good pressure on a cold start. It's getting to about 60 pounds. <laughs> And then uh, as it idles down and, and warms up, it gets down to around 24 pounds. 
and I think that's accurate. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of verify, um, but this will do for right now. So I had a little bit of the cold start this morning, uh, the cold start rattle this morning, and it wasn't as bad as I was expecting because the truck had sat for about 13 hours. So um, I, I'm not sure. Sometimes it goes, comes and sometimes it goes. So I really still don't know what the problem is. There, there are all, if you search on the internet, it'll tell you 17 different things that it could be oil pressure and chain tensioner, uh, timing chain tensioners and some seals on guides and different things. I'm not sure. Um, so right now I'm just going to run this for a few days, make sure my oil pressure is good. Probably going to, um, uh, probably going to run some sea foam or something like that through and, and fully clean the system and then run that for a few hundred miles and then change the oil again, change the filter, see if I'm getting anything coming out and just see if it improves. Maybe I've got a clogged passage somewhere. That's kind of what I'm hoping, but, um, that's, you know, who knows, right? Um, I've probably got a bigger problem. It's a high mileage vehicle and I know that. Appreciate you watching and have a great day. Thanks.